Good morning, folks. Often large earthquakes tear L waves across the planet, and that's exactly what happened here last night off the west coast of Canada. Next to last day of the primary quake watch, she's a 7.7 strike this area. The tsunami warnings you see here are all less than one foot high. Luckily, this is also not a highly populated area. You do have Vancouver and the US-Canada border down there, but I have heard of no deaths reported. The buoys in current active mode are mostly those inches of tsunami from the quake, but Hawaii is another story. We're talking 60 meter swings in sea height. We're gonna have to get updates on if that's real or not. Other significant quakes of the day were a moderate tremor in Chiapas and a few flanking the Indian subcontinent. Switching to Tropic Watch, a new low formed in the Pacific. As you can see, they know exactly where she's going. Santin, up here at the northern part of Vietnam and South China. And then there's Hurricane Sandy. Something you don't see every day, is it? It is what it is. Gonna be a rough couple of days for you guys. Hope you're ready already. As you watch the infrared images over Europe, the Mediterranean air is warming the south while an Arctic low still bitterly chills the north. Here's 48 hours of your expected precipitation. The Antarctic low is well south of Australia and New Zealand, you're next. Here's how you all will warm up to start the week. Well, this is a non-traditional solar eruption. You might remember yesterday I said, if this filament goes, she's coming at us. Well, she did erupt yesterday. Earth at the yellow dot will be impacted around November 1st. The blue and red squares on the same concentric circle as Earth, opposite side of the sun, are the Stereo spacecraft. Blue on the bottom is Stereo B, got the Earth off to the right. Stereo A has the Earth off to the left. We have one beta gamma region and one beta delta. 11596 has the gamma class as she turns away. You might remember she had little umbra behind the main cluster. Here's 11598. I'm not sure if they are saying the negative is creeping in behind or from the front. Either way, this could go unstable again. Quick look at the planets. Full moon tomorrow, Mars and Jupiter in geocentric opposition as I make this video, actually. I grow skeptical whether that dark coronal hole up north will impact Earth, but I'm more concerned about the other thin dark plasma filaments that could erupt today. There are at least four Earth facing right now. Quick FYI, tonight, MR2 and I will be guests of Danny and Dee from Sirius Rising on Revolution Radio at 6 p.m. Eastern Time US. The link is below. Folks, let's hope this quake watch has seen its last. Eyes open. No fear. It's about 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.